His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. I was really sad to hear about the passing of Senator John McCain. What a life he lived. I took some time last night to read his first-person account of the five and a half years he spent as a POW in Vietnam. So he was flying a mission when he describes torpedoes that look like telephone poles flying through the air. Mm. And one of those took out the wing of his airplane. So he did the only thing he could do and he ejected himself from the plane, but the force of that broke his arms and one of his legs. He passed out, he came to, he was underwater, 50 pounds of gear pushing him to the bottom of a lake. He managed to come back up to the top only to be captured. And here's something powerful he wrote about his time in captivity. I was finding that prayer helped. It wasn't a question of asking for superhuman strength or for God to strike the North Vietnamese dead. It was asking for moral and physical courage, for guidance and wisdom to do the right thing. I asked for comfort when I was in pain and sometimes I received relief. I was sustained in many times of trial. And after a few years in captivity, he and other POWs decided they would have a showdown with their captors over church. So he wrote, this was an important issue for us. It also was a good one to fight them on. So we went ahead and held church. Mm. The men that were conducting the service were taken out of the room immediately. And we began to sing hymns in loud voices and the Star Spangled Banner. Can you imagine that moment? Yeah. And finally, on March 14th, 1973, he was released. He had missed so much in those five and a half years, both with his family and things that happened in America, American history. But he emerged, as Hemingway wrote, stronger in the broken places. John McCain wrote about this experience. I had a lot of time to think over there and came to the conclusion that one of the most important things in life, along with a man's family, is to make some contribution to his country. And he certainly did. Absolutely. Oh, my word. And to sit there and be strong in the middle of all of that and say, we're just going to have church Mm -hmm. and we're going to sing hymns and we're going to be proud of our country and how prayer brought him through all of that from being shut down in the water. And I'm sure as he was held captive, prayer was a part of his life. You know, there were several times where they offered to release him and he refused because he believed that the men that were caught before him should be released before him. Mm. And he didn't think that would be fair. He could have walked out of there uh, months, even years earlier, and he didn't. Thought of others first. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Amazing. Now, it makes me think about you and your life and how prayer brought you through something. We saw what happened with uh, Senator John McCain and what Allie was telling us. But what about you? When did prayer get you through a trying time? What was that trying time?